Okay. Now it's recording. Um, for the record, we are like um, 15 minutes into the session. We forgot to start recording. So yeah, let's continue from where we left. So yeah, um, yeah, advisable to, if you have a specific problem where you can record a video, please um, share it on Slack and tag Arun. He will be able to explain better. Um, the next thing for you to have is make sure you have your name and your basic bio. So basically, like the careers manual states, um, you should have a uniform name for all your channels. So from LinkedIn to CV to your portfolio. So it makes it easy. And also your medium, it makes it easy for the recruiter to not get confused. Uh, so yeah, make sure you add your name, uh, where, you, where you're from, and the GitHub. Uh, university, not GitHub, and the course you did, and your email, a clickable email. And then the expertise section. So make sure you add a list of um, what you're good at. I think last week you, you chose your tracks and you got to understand where your strengths and your weaknesses are. So make sure you add what you want to do, what, you, what skills you want to continue building on, and yeah, what you're really good at on the expertise section. So it's advice to give to um, get the most relevant three to five uh, from the choice of the field that you created. And I think also up here, so when you're choosing the track here, there was a place that gives you like uh, a description uh, of skills that you need to have. Um, so yeah, you can, also look through this part and see um, the kind of skills that you feel like you possess according to yeah according to your according to the track that you chose um yeah where were we selling okay um so yeah your skills so if you're good at nlp python sql all those things make sure you add them there you're about me so this is basically the 50 word summary i'm sure you've come across it more than once if you have is it familiar the 50 word summary thumbs up you've probably done it on your cv yes so yeah your 50 word summary will also come here your education, if you did um, extra online courses, please make sure you add it. If you if you got certificates from those um, those those um, courses, please make sure to also link uh, a drive to where you where your certificates are. It's it's always like a plus to have your certificates. And if you graduate an academy and get your an academy certificate, also make sure you add you add it to your portfolio and link it um yeah uh also for work experience if you this is for those who have work experience if you don't have a work experience you have the projects that you've done at an academy to compensate for that so don't need to add that and make sure you add work experience that is relevant to the track or course that you're following and then the link to your CV. I'm sure you have perfected your CVs, which you submitted last week. So this will not be um, a lot of work to do. So just adding a link. And that link on the website should be very clickable. Um, yeah, and then also when writing the project summary, make sure it's make sure that when, when someone reads your project description of what you have on the website, anyone, whether technical or non-technical, can understand exactly why do I need to click on this um, link and see more of what you've done. So it has to be very catchy, the topic, the link, everything. So on your project description, just a small brief of what the project is about, the tech stack that you used, and the outcomes that came from that specific um, that specific project, um, yeah. So how to structure your project description is also written here. So just go through it and have a good understanding of how to properly um, describe your project. And then, so this the profile sections is basically the page two. So if we go back to this profiles. Uh, 
I think it was the first. Yeah, so if we go to this, uh, yeah, if we go to this site, so you have the home page that basically describes who you are, your skills, about you, your education, and your work experience. This is basically just like your CV. And then, uh, sorry, there's, so there's these two pages. There's the second page, which is a projects page. And this one is now where you have all your projects from. So this is the page two. So you have page one home and page two projects. And we're going to go through just a brief of how to create um, the projects, the different pages, and how to edit, add links um, in a few. Um, so yeah, that's what we are talking about when we say this profile sections, that's page two. So this is where you showcase all your projects. So I know you've done like 12 or maybe 10 projects so far. And you there they were for different um, tracks. So you did projects with journey AI, data engineering and ML. So according to the track that you chose, choose the projects that align with your track and those are the ones that you need to add on your project your profile you don't need to add all the 12 or all the 10 projects that you have done just select the ones that you know this is the track i'm following and also on top of that you did very well in those projects and you're proud of and it's it's something that excites you and you want to continue doing more of that um so yeah, that's on the profile section. So um, between a minimum of four, four projects are advisable. And I think you'll also get time to, if you didn't, if you feel like you didn't finish doing all the projects um, for that week, you will get time, I think after doing the job search phase, you'll get more time to um, continue perfecting on those projects that you feel like you didn't finish. And yeah, you'll have a very, nice and beautiful portfolio uh yeah the other thing is on um publishing so once you've done once you're done with everything and we're going to we're going to also continue i'll, I'll show you all this uh practically and then the other part um have you already done something on editing your github profile to uh, can the portfolio contain projects that we worked on as a team yes and you can also when 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 you're adding a project description it's you can also write that you you did this work collaboratively and then you can also add things like um this is where i uh, this is how you improved uh, or this is how i contributed to this project so even if you didn't do everything on that project you can just say um things like um yeah where you contributed on that project uh, it's good to have and also make sure that you understood everything that was done in that team project so if someone else did a different part of the project and you have no idea how he did it make sure you understand it because if a recruiter asks you to show them exactly what you did here you have to be you have to know what was done on the on this group projects um so yeah have you guys had uh have you guys done anything on um editing your github profiles as not yet okay so this is also like a good um this is also like a good um documentation on how to edit your github profile so we can just have an ex we can just have a look at our documents github profile um so basically what you need to have on your github profile is make sure you have a picture of it could either be a picture of yourself or some or something that like inspires you or something that you like have a picture of your name and you'll make sure you edit your skills or just who you are and where you work currently where you live 
or a link to your portfolio as well your twitter account if necessary and yeah i don't know what this link is for and yeah make sure you turn this um this thing on so it should be visible the first thing the first time someone clicks on your project and i know you don't have a problem with um this contribution section because i know you've been pushing code every day so uh yeah, so on your GitHub profile, make sure it has um, some question. Yes, Henuk. Okay, uh, two things. First of all, yeah. I, I'm not seeing the screen. I don't know if it's just me or... Uh, uh, which uh, screen? Like, the, if you're presenting, I'm not sure if you are. Okay, is any, if it's everyone else having the same problem? Right now, we are back to the careers manual. Oh, you can see. No one can see you, okay. I can see. Uh, sorry? I can't see it. You can't see it? No, I can see the final. Uh, let me just reshare again. Sorry about that. Um. So did you guys see the where we were on the GitHub profile, or do we go back to that? You did. Okay. Maybe, maybe it's just me. I don't know. No, um, yeah, I think now we're back to the careers manual. Can you see? It? Maybe it's my problem. Uh, okay, maybe I'll leave and come back. But okay. uh, I, I have one more question. Uh, it's about like naming. Uh, uh -huh. Does our name have too much like uh, maybe the passport like i heard some employers ask for passports and like the way they write our names on passports is different like uh, ethiopians i think like uh, you can agree with this like, they list our grandfather's name as the last name so like when i write last name i'm always confused which one should i write and um, is it the same as your id yeah, like like on our IDs, the on the passport they write grandfather's name as last name, and uh -huh. like my name and father's name. If you, I don't know if you've worked with like Ethiopian names, it's a bit confusing. No, no, no I haven't. But, so uh, uh, there's a different naming on your passport and your ID. No, the passport and ID is the same. Just like, but when they say, uh -huh. we have three names, like when they say it first name and last name. I don't know which one to put. At yeah, the end. okay. Now I understand. I think this is now where um, your personal branding decisions come into play. So, which names do you want to be known as? Do you want to be identified with um, professionally? Because when you talk on a professional level, you're thinking about your LinkedIn, your CV, your um, your portfolio, all those things. Um, so choose just two names that you fit that should be consistent in in those profiles. Doesn't have to start with the last name, but you should have a first name, and last name, excluding the father's name and middle name. Yes, that's that's true. Um, mm. So yeah, you can, just like how you having Henok Gabriel, yeah, I think that would still be. Yeah, so like that's the confusing part, like Gabriel would be my name, like the way you guys uh, use uh, names. OK. Um, in this country, it's my last name. It's confusing. I don't know. Yeah. But, consider this. The recruiter doesn't know you. So you're the one who's telling him or her who you are. So you have to choose your names from that portfolio. And so what are they going to see? They're not going to see your ID or um, or your unless maybe they want to relocate you to travel to their country that's when they might ask for your id or your passports but for now you're the one to tell them who you are who your names are um but yeah it should be it should be something that's also on the on the yeah it should be on the id and also on um yeah on the id and also on your passport the word should come from there Okay. Yeah. So another 
good example of a good um, a good uh, GitHub landing page is this one who just wrote a, a small about him. So he wrote things like, I love writing codes, what you, what you love doing, your skills, these things. So um, for someone who will, for, for a recruiter who's like very technical, this, I think they would be impressed with having such kind of a, of a landing page. So just list your skills also there because that very technical recruiters, the first thing they, they don't, I don't think, Yes, they do care a little bit about how you write your reports because documentation is necessary. But if they go to your GitHub page and they see that's the first place they go to to just check on you. So make it easy for them to understand exactly what are all this 71 repositories talking about? What what are what are the most common things that are there? So yeah. Uh, yeah, and this is not a problem for you guys because you've been um, because you've been pushing code every day. Um, yeah, so just go through this document. I think it's very um, it's very comprehensive and it, it will help you just go step by step. Don't, don't miss anything. And yeah, so that's basically it. So what you, this is what you'll be doing the whole of this week. Um, yeah, so I... Let's now just quickly go to how to edit, how to edit um, the portfolio. I'm just looking for the Bethel um, portfolio that we shared. Okay. Yeah, so just a few things, just a few basic things on how to edit. Um, so this logo is permanent, but you can change it if you want to. And no, it's for an academy, so don't change it. But if you were to create your own portfolio, you could um, change your logo here. So just click on it. And here it shows you the projects that you have. So um, if you go, if you want to add a page, so already when you get the template, it has two pages. But if you feel like, oh, there's something you want to add, you can come to pages here. And so it shows you this other two pages that you have. If I want to add an extra page, I'll just come down here to this plus and click new page, give it a name, maybe um, fun facts, or just, yeah, you'll just get creative with what you have and it'll create a new page. So, and then, yeah, the thing, I don't, Okay, you can change the theme if you if you want. Uh, but yeah, this is just basic things on how to edit a Google page. And then you can add a text box. So if you click a text box here, it will come to add whatever you can just edit. And then there are different sections. So if you see this section, you can maybe change the background color. It can come to that. And you can duplicate the section um the color is too much so we can have that and then on this here other than that on this section you can add things like images um oops no i don't want to add images but yeah if you want to add images here you, you can add an image here so you upload and the image will come here and also you can add a link. So embed here, you just add a link to maybe your GitHub profile or anything. And a drive to the link if you want. And then content blocks is just how you want to structure your, how you want to structure your, your section. So here, this is, I think, the perfect template for when you're writing a project. So here you can add a picture of maybe uh, the prediction sales rossman sales prediction project you did you can add a picture of maybe medicine or the very good um uh visualizations that you created from that specific project and then you can add a topic of what the project is about a description and here you can also add links so that's basically how to edit uh the different types so if you want to have two if you want to have three um yeah so that's all you can also just
get more comfortable with other things, but these are the main things that will that will help you finish. Um, yeah, that will help you finish the project. Once you're done, make sure you publish. And yeah, that will hands portfolio, and then you publish. So once you publish, everyone can, and then you can have a view. So if you click on that, you can see that the page that we edited is, it looks more like our website. It doesn't have those things you need to edit um, anymore. So it looks like your website, and then you have your pages that you made. Um, yeah, the home page and all. So back to this page again so you don't want to create a whole profile and then when someone comes there they don't have access to view so make sure you also edit this access so anyone with a link can view because you don't know who's going to view your project all the recruiters so make sure you change this link and yeah copy the published link and this is what you're going to submit so if i go to a new page and I just click the link there, it's going to just show me my page. So anyone have a problem with editing? Editing the Google Sites section, if you have a question. Okay. Um, I see there's a lot of chats on first name, last name. Okay, um, are you guys comfortable now to create your own websites? Thumbs up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, so yeah, showcase your best self. Um, make it fun if you can. I haven't seen a fun website, but it's. Yeah, the whole point of making something fun is to just make someone's day. If they've seen all a lot of, um, yeah, if they've gone through a lot of portfolios, uh, just make sure you have something fun in there for them to see. Uh, for the video section, let me just confirm with Arun and then I'll give you guys a feedback, but I think it's advisable to have. Um, anyway, let's have a great day ahead if you have no questions. And yeah, also, um, so for the specific questions, you have created the specific channels with the team. So if you have a specific question regarding your specific name, for example, Henokyo question with the names, you can add, um, yeah, I think that's the perfect place to, don't put it on the generals channel, but your channel that you've created with Arun and Arun. So if you have other specific questions that you are not sure of, um, please thread them there and you'll get responses. Um, yeah, thank you for, yes, Hilary. Yeah, what if uh, you, are in, you may want to go with the approach of creating your website uh, portfolio? Do you, um, do we include everything there or is it a must you have both like, that's a good question so the whole goal of having this profile was for you not to stress with all the coding and errors but if you feel like you're very comfortable to build your own website and yeah i think um as long as someone can come and see that this is your website that you've created with your projects, but make sure to have all those content, uh, all the important contents, because it was specifically, um, it was specifically written down, um, yeah, to follow exactly what recruiters need. So make sure you have all those things there. Are you going to write your own website? Mm -hmm. Yes, I might uh, in future okay. if I have time. But... Okay, um, so yeah, I think the whole goal was just, you have a lot of projects that you're building. Um, so I think you can just focus on that and use this to just whip up something very quick. Um, but yeah, also ask that on your careers uh, channel so you can get the final 
decision from my room. <coughs> oh, okay, so uh, I, will, I will create a food and academy template first. So. Okay. Um, so yeah, uh, we'll see. Let's have a good afternoon. And I'll see you in CBS. I promise today I have something fun. Okay, let's have a great day. Yes, Ahmed. Sorry, it's a mistake. Have a good day. Oh, okay. Thank you. Have a good day too.